fellow YouTubers, how you doing? Irv Lindsay here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's a lot of sickness going on this year. Anybody else been sick? I know a lot of people have. It seems like I have been. I've had four infections in the last two months. Um, I'm normally a very healthy person, but this is getting ridiculous. My wife has been sick three times. I just happen to also get a bacterial infection in my sinuses. <coughs> and I've got a cough. Even though I'm not sick anymore, I still have this residual cough that's uh, very annoying. So you'll have to excuse that. I want to talk a little bit about what everybody refers to as Cincinnati chili. A lot of people when they first eat Cincinnati chili are turned off by it and don't like it because they're expecting some type of chili and it's the phrase chili in American language has really come to mean um, you know a uh, meat and beans uh, usually beans not always but a meat and beans soup type of thing that's really thick and hearty uh, you know, you guys have had it. It's often associated with Hispanic dishes. Cincinnati chili is a meat sauce that at first glance looks like, like chili without beans. Just regular American Southwest chili with no beans. Uh, you put it in your mouth, it, it doesn't really taste like chili. It has a cinnamon, uh, cinnamon flavor to it. It's kind of sweet, but not. it's not like sugary sweet. Um, and it does have ground beef all in it. And it's not eaten by itself. It's typically, you can, but it's typically put over french fries. Or it's put on top of, most often it's put on top of spaghetti. Does not have to be eaten with spaghetti. But Cincinnati chili uh, is often associated with spaghetti. Now, you can get Cincinnati chili on top of spaghetti, and you can get extra stuff on it, and it's called a whey. Now, s stick with me here. Don't, don't get, get your mind out of the gutter. You can get what's called a three-way. That's not what that means, so stop it. You can get what's called a three-way, and that is where you get your spaghetti and your chili, which is your meat sauce, with cheese, right? Those are your, that's your three-way. You can get what's called a four-way, where you add, once again, get your mind out of the gutter. You get a four-way, and it's that's where you add onions. A five-way is where you also have beans. I'm not sure why somebody came up with this, or uh, what the true history of the way ordering system is, but you will see that in all the chili places. So today we're going to Empress Chili. And there happens to be an Empress Chili right here in the, I'm not going to say Price Hill. It's just outside of Price Hill, just up Glenway. Uh, and the reason why I'm going to Empress Chili is because uh, a couple of Eastern European brothers, I think, opened up a little chili place, a little, a little, um, little restaurant. And because it was next to the Empress Theater and because they serve mostly people at the Empress Theater, both people that work there and customers, they call it Empress Chili. And so uh, they came up with the original, supposedly, came up with the original chili recipe. Now there's lots of conflicting stories, people argue for or against it. Feel free to leave comments. Gold Star and Skyline Chili were both founded by people that worked at or for Empress Chili. All these stories lead to me making a trip to Empress Chili, just north of Price Hill, up Glenway, to see if I can get what they're supposed to be using, still to this day using the original Empress Chili recipe. All right, guys. This is my um, this is my five way. And these are, this is what conies look like typically in Cincinnati when you order them. These little, little short things. Yep, so I'm going to eat them and then I will, 
Like they come with lots of cheese. Honestly, I had to pick the cheese off sometimes. There's a lot. So we'll see. All right, so let's talk about uh, Empress Chili. Uh, uh, I hope those of you that are uh, watching this video that haven't eaten Cincinnati chili are now inspired to want to travel to this region of the country just to try Cincinnati chili. Uh, I really liked Empress chili. Uh, the texture was slightly different and uh, than the other Cincinnati chili recipes from the major chains. Uh, it was also, um, the taste wasn't as overpowering, so if you don't like Cincinnati chili because the flavor is really overpowering, you'll like Empress chili. It has a more subtle, uh, more subtle flavor to it. It's a little more thin, it's not as thick. Uh, that's another thing I liked about it. Um, it, it, it gave you a chance to taste the other things that were, uh, that, that it was on, so it doesn't become the primary flavor of, let's say, the Coney. So I really liked the Coney's, I liked the Five Way, I, I really enjoyed it. There's one thing I've always said about food, and that is this, that food is directly, the taste of, the taste of a food and, and how much you enjoy it, directly proportionate to its price. I cringe at going to Gold Star, I cringe at going to... Uh, Skyline because their prices are so steep guys you can get you can for for less than 10 bucks You can eat at Empress Chili very comparable to some of the other chili chains You don't have to go somewhere and spend 30 or 40 bucks just to eat. All right uh, That's it in this video. I appreciate everybody watching uh, Remember my main channel address youtube.com slash Irv TV there it is right there, Irv TV. And then also uh, Facebook.com slash Irv Lindsay, E R V L E N Z Y. Uh, you can find me there. I'm also on Twitter. I'm also on Instagram. Look me up. I appreciate you watching, everybody. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week and uh, uh, keep fighting the good fight. And I'll see you in the next video.